Yo, people, them it's man like jam away. Imagine the guys at Acer told me I need to go outside and touch grass. So let's see how Acer managed to help me take my office gaming setup outside. Now, let me just show you what the thing looks like from the front. It's, it's a bit mad. I've even got a little bit of privacy where man's using the solar panels and I'm going to go into that real soon. I thought man will just show you the thing from behind as well. Little privacy thing. You don't even know what's going on behind there, fam. Yeah? All the secrecy and that. Zimmy. Now, let me break down this setup for you guys. Obviously, man's in a park, so you'll have to excuse the external noises and thing. Man will try and get them out in post as best as I can. But the brains of the setup, which is usually the gaming laptop, is actually this Acer power station here. Rated at a maximum output of 600 watts. I actually can't remember the capacity of this one specifically, but I'll put that somewhere on the screen. Now, look at all the ports you got here, fam. You got two proper full-size three-pin plug sockets that are capable of literally charging a laptop and capable of literally charging my full-size electric scooter. And what's really cool is that when you plug something in, it literally tells you the current output of what you got plugged in so that you don't go over that 600 watt total output. Now you've also got two USB-A ports here. These are rated at 12 watt each. You've got two USB-C ports rated at 65 watts. I don't even know what this car charger thing is rated at, but I'll put that on the screen somewhere. You've got two more ports here, DC 12.6 volt. Fam, enough ports going on on the front sides. Now, moving on from the power station, we might as well talk about this thing right here, fam. Now, this thing right here is the solar panel that when we do eventually get some sun here in the UK, um, it will charge the power station at a maximum of 100 watts, cuz. So, if you were somewhere where it's actually properly sunny, you can get a recharge rate of up to 100 watts on the power station. Literally infinite energy, but obviously not here in the UK where we have sunshine twice a year. Now, bringing my laptop to the park is all good and everything like that, but let's not lie, as well as power, we also need internet. And there ain't no internet Wi-Fi hotspot in this park, fam, not here in the UK. So what we got right here is the Acer Connect Enduro M3 portable wireless hotspot thing, fam. 5G Wi-Fi speeds there, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. You can put a SIM card in it to get the 4G thing, but you can also use the Simo service, which basically gives you a free 20 gigabytes of data, just like that fam, for no reason. Just just for just for purchasing, just for being in the gang. So man's using that literally to play YouTube, do a little bit of game streaming. I'm getting like 30 megabytes per second at the moment, which is okay, I guess. It's better than no megabytes per second. It's not quite one gigabit speeds, but I wasn't expecting that off of 5G in the first place anyway. Now, obviously, the laptop we're rocking with is the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16. We've got Intel i7 core, 13th gen processors in there. And we've got an NVIDIA RTX 4060 to push all the pixels that need pushing. 2K screen at 165Hz refresh rate as well. Thunderbolt 4 ports on there, HDMI 2.1. Basically, got everything that you need in a gaming laptop to make sure your gaming is really giving gaming kind of thing. Now also Acer have been cheeky with it. They've hopped me up with the Predator Gili Galil Galil Saturn 365 headset. Basically a little 3.5 millimeter gaming headset for all your gaming needs, especially in a park where people are making mad noises on the park gym over there. And that's basically the Acer gaming setup, guys. It's it's a Mazza. It's actually a Mazza. It can oh we're actually getting sun now, fam. Maybe I can put the Oh yeah, yeah, look, 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 we're getting, it just said I was getting a little four watts of charging right there off the solar panel. We love to see it. <laughs> As man was about, yeah, yeah, I just saw five watts. Do you know what? Let me put it down flat. I mean, I'm not going to leave it like this, guys, because I don't own this park bench and other people need to sit down, but I think this is probably the best way to get this little five minutes of sunshine charging up the power station. Let me see if we've got any, any input at the moment. No, it says zero. It says zero at the moment, but it did it did flash, it did say five watts a second ago.
Yo, people, it's Jamal from the future. I needed to get outside on a proper sunny day and actually try what this solar panel is saying. Now, it's about 27 degrees on this day. I'll put the day in the description section. But we're charging at a rate of around about 78 watts, um, which is not bad. I think my power station was at 40% and it was saying that it would charge it all the way to 100% in like two hours and something. So, yeah, not bad. Like, essentially, at that point... I'd be charging my phone for free because my phone charges on a 30 watt charger. So yeah, that, it was actually cool to see the whole thing working. Now I need to actually confirm with Acer whether this little carriage case comes with it. But if it does, this is actually sick because you can leave this thing outside. It's waterproof, obviously. Nice little lock. Um, fam, you can literally carry it around with you. It's got wheels on it and you can basically use it to transfer all the stuff that you need to transfer. That's why I'm not even shook if it rains today because if it rains, man will literally put everything in here and just bring it back to the car one time. Now I can't even lie, trying to have a little gaming setup in the middle of the park is weird. Like I've been getting mad looks and I've also been getting people that are proper inquisitive that are wondering what I've got going on here because I've literally brought my whole office to the park. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's this is this is too exposed and I'm in South East London, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna go inside now. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna call that challenge accepted, done, completed. You seen the Acer outdoor equipment that they got going on. Power banks, um 5G routers, portable 5G routers and thing. Solar panels, fam, whether you're doing the camping thing, whether you're doing the glamping thing, whether you're just doing outside in the park and you're somehow moving mad extra like I am, Acer have got you covered for all your outdoor grass touching things. If you want to see a more in-depth review of any of the products that I just featured today, make sure you hit me up in the comment section below and subscribe and like for more content like this.